It is the most spectacular day at Lelan. I'm taking my morning cup of tea to go and see Amory in the old workshop, which sadly is not a workshop any longer. It is going to have the boiler room housed within it. And Amory's had to move everything out to turn the old stables into his new workshop. Oh, cause you haven't stopped as usual. I think that you are the human ant when it comes to moving things everywhere. The back wall, it has to be double boarded. So, so this has to be a fireproof wall, the wall that's behind you. It has to be yeah. a fireproof structure. Yeah. But uh, we need to get the back wall built first. I'll build the structure in situ, which is not a great way to do it. It'd be better just to build it on the floor. Mm and board the back board winch it up and then push it up but because the, i've had put the laser on there the floor is so oh really uneven. there's there's something uneven in this chateau yeah the floor is really <laughs> uneven so we need it to be the head the face the bottom row that could be fine but the header yeah. has to be level so i'll build the structure the alley frame in situ drop it down put the backboard on and then bring it back up again secure it to the wall so that's one hour's worth of fire protection and then i can board the inside wall, so that's our two hour mm -hmm. uh, fire protection. Then they can wheel, because they're big modules, they can do a pallet lift, they can a pallet trolley, they can then wheel the machines into place, and then I can build the rest of the walls and then the roof. One and wall, then the machines, and then the rest of the room gets built in place around. So we'll have our room within a room, which is totally fireproof. Totally well. Well, two yeah, hour, two, two hour, hour fireproof. Fire protection. Everything of yours has gone into the stables yeah. next door, yeah. which is why people might wonder why there's not one but two carriages in the old workshop. Oh, there's the other one just peeking out. Yeah, this was actually the carriage house. Well, you can the, see. Uh, the oh yes, the you stars. have. For the what? What do you call them? I don't know, stars. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, but they were for the carriages, indeed. On the equestrian stuff. <laughs> and you can see from the doors, those huge, huge arches, that was for the carriages to come in. This is everything that has to move into place and it's vast. Can you imagine having to fit everything there over into that room? It's going to be tight, isn't it, the room? No, there's going to be plenty of space. It's just for ease, build this back wall first, and then wheel everything in instead of, you know, dragging. And this is going to be done very quickly, isn't it? This is, this is the next thing. Fingers crossed, yeah. This is, I'm just finishing one little bit right now. And then, yeah, if not this afternoon, then tomorrow morning, I'll be cracking on with it. Nice. Can't so wait to see it, well. actually. Beautiful. One step closer to heating. One step closer to heating, yeah. And this is where you've moved your entire workshop to. Not quite set up yet, is it? Just a little bit to go. Amory is stacking all of the original stable dividers against this wall. He's going to be keeping up the what, hay manger things as well. So everything stays exactly as it was. All of the tiles, we're not changing anything. I'm not going to touch anything. Yeah. No. You're going to put a new wall in front of all of this. Put, I know some people might think that's a waste of money, a waste of time and whatnot, but it's not because these are, these are built into the wall. Yeah, the metal and goes straight through, doesn't the metal it? The goes straight through, like you said, original tiles. And like you saw in the previous workshop, I've got the ducting, 110 mil tubing, which picks up all the, the wood chips and the sawdust yeah. from all the machines. You know, I, I, it sounds silly, but I can't have them here. I can't, and I need them there because they need to be higher. Yeah. So, and you don't want to drill into that wall. I don't want to drill into this. You've I think you're right. You got I would everywhere. rather protect the old stables, even That's though obviously they need work. But no, never mind, let's protect them. We can always put them back in the future if we need to. Yeah. It's great. And I like the fact, though, that the mangers mean that you've got the space to just neatly stack the dividers yeah. there and they can just be behind the new wall. Well, there's some good footage of me with the one with the... Uh, both mid rails and bottom rail with the panels still in, in on my shoulder walking. <gasps> I'm going to show everybody what you've been doing in here. Yeah, okay then. Basically by yourself. We've been sliding since I don't remember when Stressing now, we rely on our facade to help us out. 
last While others may be restless too We were always far ahead, me and you in this chateau and um, everyone keeps coming going would you like some help would you like some help you're like no 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 I'm fine no no girl I know that none of us are as strong as you I know that I'm not that. saying that I'm not no, saying come that. on you, just, that's, that's just for fact I'm not saying that. It's all just, of us together yeah but it's easy just like oh, I've got to move it I've got to move it you know you're exactly the same as my mother and your mother yeah 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 exactly yeah. the same until my body gives in, then I'll just carry on doing it. Well, give in a bit faster if you keep doing that. I'll just keep on getting, having operations on it and, uh, and screws and bolts put into place. <laughs> become the bionic man. And now I'm going to go and see Pavlina because apparently she's been working on a new herb garden. Oh, hello, Molly. Hello. You've done things in the greenhouse. Yeah, I mean, since then, uh, probably there is more, 15 more things that are not supposed to be in the greenhouse, but it's, it looks much <gasps> Oh, it does. Either. It looks so tidy. Yeah. It's really nice. So what were your major changes here? And there's some decorative... Little, know, little decorative objects? Yeah. The peacocks? And uh, the concert is here. Of course, the naked musicians. <laughs> Critical. A fairy house. Oh, this has to go out at some point. Yeah, that's yeah. so nice. Little nesting box, the chapel one. Mm. Of course, the hedgehog. It looks beautiful in here. I can't wait to see everything outside. And Pavlina's also going to show me the herb patch. Oh, these are the ones that wait to go to the kitchen, aren't they? We have a rotating yeah. herb uh, thing with the kitchen. Yeah. And finally, all the other herbs that we propagated last year went into the soil. So I'm so happy. The main herb. Uh, bad would be this, like all along this wall, except that part, because when Fabulous. you uh, cross mm -hmm. over with a tractor or with a mower, yeah. you have to like turn and... Um, okay, so all know of this is be... herbs, and what are these? Uh, well, I well, we fennel. fennel, that's going to take over the whole thing. <laughs> pretty soon we will have just fennel going all the way along, but Time it will be pretty. And oregano, and there is mint, uh, so not to make it overtake everything, mm -hmm. it's planted in the pots. It's going to be so pretty. Yeah. And we have borage under the tree a little bit. Well, oh, that's going to be really gorgeous. See it, but Not uh, yet. It's going to come out. Yeah. And there's more types, different types of mint. Basically, it will be the mint garden. It's uh, wonderful. Yeah. I love so, it. You know which one this one is? This is chocolate. Mm. I love that one. It's like having a mint chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> The garden's looking amazing, but I can't stay out here because we're going to have coffee with Patrick and Stuart from Chateau de Coulombe and Janet and Tony from Not Quite a Chateau. So if you haven't checked out their channels, look at them because they are really, really good. And I'm so looking forward to seeing them at La Lande.
Oh, and if you're wondering why there is a water bottle on this car... It's Sharon's genius idea for keeping the peacocks off it, and it seems to be working. Hey, Thor, don't fancy that car, do you? We're watching you for a long time. <laughs> you are. <laughs> We have never been able to find beautiful china like you. I mean, no? you get so mm. lucky, you two. Or well, beautiful gold armchairs, because I sat on the gold armchairs at the MRs and I really wanted to buy them. But <gasps> oh, Tony yeah. wasn't keen on the idea. So, and then you came along. <laughs> yeah, you, and we, we, we got probably them. missed you by probably <laughs> half an hour or something. So it's all your fault, Tony. Absolutely. And every time I see them on your vlog, I think, I wish I was <laughs> But it's fun. It's really... Oh, good um, job. It's, it's, I mean, the, these, you know, all these... Things you can get, and we did but one auction win a uh, Louis XVI living room set with the, oh, the, saw that the large settee. Mm -hmm. uh, and Gorgeous. With, with, with the eight, eight. Yes. Chairs. And I get uh, an email from the, from the Chateau de Beauregard, which I love. I'm, I've been there. Oh, the one in the Loire Valley near Chambord. Yes. 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 Yeah. And so it was the owner of the chateau and said, you, uh, Could you please make sure they uh, pick that up? And I said, Sue. Oh my God, we, <laughs> we, we got this, and it's original Louis XVI. Yeah. And you didn't we, know it was from the Chateau? No, they're oh. so private here in France. I mean, it had, has the original silk underneath a striped pattern that was put on there maybe in the 1850s or 60s. Incredible. It's so pretty, but we, we're going to cut the silk off mm -hmm. and frame it. Yes, good idea to preserve so it. Because it's so brittle. Mm -hmm. Yes, you yeah. can't sit on but, it. But I mean, we paid 120 euros for the entire oh, thing. No. No. <laughs> oh, wow. I, but I, I said, sorry, I think my water just broke. Because <laughs> I could not believe that we got all, I mean, the, the, the entire set for 120, and then we picked it up at the chateau, and it was just marvelous. I, it tickled me to death. I, I, you got lucky too often. Bought a pair of um, what they call monk wrists, two months of oak, come out of the church somewhere. Mm. And they were there for, uh, for when there was a long sermon going on that they could just rest their arm on. These are medieval. These are, yeah. They've got two carved musicians on them. And we bought them for 20 euros. Mm. That oh. is incredible. There's so bargains to be had out there, aren't there? There are still yeah. wonderful yeah. bargains yeah. in France. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Cheers! I cannot believe mm. that you made this cake. I, how? It's mm. beautiful. I made three of them. Yes, we had we ate two of them at the party. Interestingly, we I thought I was a little concerned about getting the berries for that because you know you don't really want to use frozen mm. berries to do on the top of a cake. But Patrick actually <laughs> found some. The plan was initially that I knew it was going to take a lot of time to do, so I was just going to do one main one with that on it, and then the other two were just going to be like you know additional cakes yeah. with something on them. And then Patrick came home with all of the berries for the top. And he must have like bought off the store because it was like this bag and I looked inside of it and it was like, you know, 20 things of blueberries. And, and it was like, well, I can, I'm not going to let those go to waste. So I guess I'm going to decorate all three of them. I'm glad you did. <laughs> and we didn't know that you were bringing a cake. So we've also got some cakes as well, but I'm far more excited about this one. So this is something that I made. And it's oh, that's lovely. Thank you very much. I'm very excited. Gosh, that is so beautiful. Like, I can't believe you designed this. Peacock in the Olive Tree, original design illustrated by Stuart Cartwright at Chateau de Colombe. That is beautiful. I've just snuck upstairs because the post arrived and my letters from Historic Mail are here and I've been really excited to tell you about them. They've offered to sponsor this video with an ad and I thought that this would be the most wonderful thing for Mummy and Percy when they get back because they will be here from the end of the month and they are both massive history buffs. It's actually how they bonded when they first met on the aeroplane. They bonded over the cradle of mankind in South Africa and that is how Percy got Mummy's number. So I know that they are going to love reading these letters together. With a historic mail subscription, each week you receive the reproduction of a letter penned by a famous historic figure, along with the historical context, which tells you a little bit of the background when the letter was written. And if the original letter was handwritten, like this one from Winston Churchill to his wife, you also get a typed printout, which is incredibly useful with this handwriting. Winston, what were you thinking? I can barely read a thing. But what's great with this one is it's the little personal touches. That is apparently a galloping pug because Winston's wife called him a pug and he used to call her cat and they called their firstborn daughter the puppy kitten because of that. And you can see at the end of the letter, he says, 
kiss the PK for me all over. That's kiss the puppy kitten. I love learning about the inner lives of great historical figures. There's a side to Winston that I've never seen. I think of him as this political giant, and that's very much what comes across in his correspondence with Franklin D. Roosevelt. This letter is from the president to Churchill, and it really demonstrates this close friendship that developed between the two leaders. It was such a special relationship. And this has been especially interesting for Philip and I, because we've been watching SAS Rogue Heroes on the BBC. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's amazing. And it shows the beginnings of the SAS and how the Brits have to hold Egypt. And you can see where that comes from here. Roosevelt is telling Churchill his strategy. Australia must be held. And as I telegraphed you, we are willing to undertake that. India must be held and you must do that. You must hold Egypt, the canal, Syria, Iran, and the route to the Caucasus. And this is exactly what we've been looking at in SAS Rogue Heroes. So it just makes me feel as though I'm there in 1942 receiving this letter. I've got to hold Egypt. <laughs> I think that my mother and Percy are going to love this. And if you know anyone who loves history or you're wondering what to get your mother for Mother's Day, it makes the perfect gift. You can also send a beautiful gift certificate with your name and the receiver's name on it to make it even more personal. Their American History Gift Pack covers letters from 1776 and the founding of the Republic all the way through to 1976 in the midst of the Cold War. It features letters from presidents such as George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, and Franklin D. Roosevelt, as we've just seen, as well as other great historical figures like Tesla, Twain, Walt Disney. Historic Mail offers 10 weekly letters for only $59.99. There are also letter packs of 25 letters or a yearly pack of 52 letters. I think the Historic Mail is the perfect gift for history lovers like my mother. So if you'd like to surprise your mother this Mother's Day, you could offer her this timeless gift and historic Historic Mail are offering 10% off all of their products in their Mother's Day sale. Please go to historicmail.com forward slash chateau and it's important that you add the forward slash chateau because that's how you support this channel. Well I must say that with all of the stress of having to hold up Egypt, the canal, Syria, Iran and the route to the Caucasus I've built up quite an appetite so I'm going to go down for a little picnic. Now I know it is very important that we colour coordinate this properly. And not not you to the food, oh, yeah. but oh, are. Oh, you are you are colour coordinated. That's so spiller. No surprise there. You are always colour coordinated, but I didn't know that the shoes would be as well. You told me it was a terrace picnic. I I betrayed you. Yes. You're, and the shoes. You're ready for a terrace. Well, we won't stray far from the terrace. Mm. We need wellies for Philip. Have you we ever seen them in wellies? Shoes. You can actually Hunters. get high heeled wellies. Hunters do high heeled Hunters. wellies. Hunters. Yeah. It, yeah, they do exist. Right. <laughs> That'll be cool. I think what I need is a table and chairs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. We've got everything. We've color coordinated our tablecloth. It's all good. Napkins. Actually, they'll work, won't they? These will be lovely with them. Okay. Yes. Perfect. We have everything we need. I'm ready for anything now. Look, I might just camp out there and live out there. <laughs> I've got my porcelain, actually, no, my faience. Where Big Dora the Explorer. Yeah, Where gonna... are you going to take us today? Exploring. <laughs> In front of the chapel. Let's go sit next to something that's not falling down. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the first blanket down, and that is the one that's got a sort of plastic undercoating. So we can put the big tablecloth on top of that, and then we can all sit on the sheet as well. Okay. Anyone who wants to sit on that one? And then the tablecloth. Do you need a chopping board for anything, Andrew? No. Oh, maybe we can put Philip's sandwich on. Oh, great. There we go. Chopping board, and I've got the cutlery. Because well, we I can see rolls on. it's a cutlery type of picnic. Do we need the bottle opener? There was one in the thing. Yes. Shall I go and get a bottle? So we no, we have a little chablis. <laughs> How is it that little you are rose. always prepared for everything? Little champagne. <gasps> And water. I like picnics with you. It's picnics are good. You made sausage rolls. Sandwich. I love sausage rolls and sandwiches. Well, this is heaven. Sandwiches. Not just sandwiches. So you know, Americans will know this. This is like a Jimmy John's sandwich. Truffle crisps, vegetable crisps, sausage rolls. Andrew's famous deli sandwiches. Very good. Champagne. And I'm pretty sure I can see strawberries Water. behind you. Strawberry oh, yeah. shortbread and cream for after. Wow. And Andrew's just told us this is apparently the salad from Cipriani. Yeah, it's on their uh, YouTube. Is and it? I didn't even know they had a YouTube. YouTube. Fabulous YouTube. Oh, I'll be looking at that. Shabli for you too, Philip. Thank you. Now, it's going to be a little bit hard to eat this because we realised we didn't bring the dessert plates out. That's because I didn't realise that was dessert. And the trek to the kitchen, now that we're in the wilderness, 
It's too far. <laughs> no one can go. So you've come up with a genius plan, Andrew, haven't you? Yeah. Which is that we're going to squirt the cream. My plan was using the flat side of the biscuit. Fla oh, okay. Okay, so <laughs> I I'm already, I've gone off piste already. Flat side of the biscuit. Squirt the cream. Oh, yes. And then use the cream to place the strawberries. <laughs> I think that mine have very little structural integrity, actually. Uh oh. Yeah, that's um, this this is, is one way, way to put the strawberries on. This is, strawberry this is, this is like not the up, way. Right? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. This is totally doable. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -mm -mm. Done. What? <laughs> It's been the perfect afternoon, but now I have to get changed because we're having a party tonight and I am not hosting it. It's amazing. Maria is hosting a party for everybody. It's a belated birthday party. She really wanted to have a costume party because she knows we used to have a lot in the past. We haven't had any recently. So we've all been asked to come as a work of art, specifically leaning towards a painting. So I, I don't really know what to wear, but I have a beautiful medieval dress made by Shiana from Vendetta Couture. And there's a beautiful painting by Millet of Mariana of Tennyson's poem, Mar Marianne in her moated grange. She's so tremendously lonely in that moated grange and I thought it would be quite fun to do that. It's a very Victorian hairstyle with a medieval style dress because it's very pre-Raphaelite and back in the past before we had all of the volunteers and friends and family living here with me at La Lande, I was quite often alone and I used to think of that poem of Mariana saying I am weary, I am weary because she's by herself in this moated grange and all of the little animals that are mentioned are usually solitary. There's a solitary mouse peeking behind the skirting board and I thought of that poem often so I think it's quite funny to go as Mariana tonight. I found my dress. I absolutely love it. But before I get changed and go downstairs, I have a really big announcement to make. As you know, my friend Ollie and I have been talking about a joint travel channel for absolutely ages. In fact, we've been filming for it for two years now. We couldn't meet up all that often, but whenever we did, we'd film another episode. And the moment has finally arrived. On Tuesday, our first video will be going out on our new YouTube channel, Travels With My Friend, and the trailer is premiering straight after this video. So you can already go over to Travels With My Friend and you can see the trailer with a little sneak peek of things that are to come. The videos will be going out every Tuesday evening, so please do go and check it out. I'm so excited. We had such fun filming. Ollie's had a great time creating the channel and editing the videos, and I can't wait for you to see them and let us know what you think. I see that one half of Klimt's kit is about to light the fire. That's a hundred stars headband you're wearing. It is. Very nice. I mean, of course it is. Of course it is. We've been gathered to the Salon de Musique, which is now the Salon of Classical Art, even including Roman busts around the walls. And each person in turn has to present their painting over by a frame. We'll be taking photos and Maria is going to judge the winner. And apparently there is a prize. You are Picasso, aren't you? And you're amazing. <laughs> Oh yes! What a moment! Who are you? Roy Lichtenstein in the car. Roy Lichtenstein in the car. The moment everyone has been Wait, waiting for. Down? Like that? <laughs> I didn't want to add a mouse. There's no mouse in the painting, but there is in the poem. And I feel the mouse is a big part of the poem. <laughs> Restoration, Jesus coming up. Okay, okay, wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Don't laugh. Stop laughing. Oh, King oh, Louis. Oh, nothing like being very, better. very. very you've got the style. We have a strong contender in John. Very strong. We have <laughs> William Lafitte. How do you feel about your costume today, John? <laughs> Three <laughs> man skating! I'm Queen Charlotte. Of course you are. Oh, you've got a King George, an unexpected King George. You know. 
Dr. Stephen, stop getting into everyone else's paintings. Out you go. Out you go. Clean the, the girl with the red fan. Who are you, Pavlina? Uh, I'm a poster. It's a painting by Kerry Martinez in yes. Art Nouveau style. So this is me. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I am painting. Let me take you to see Giuseppe. Giuseppe? This is uh, Magdalena and mine, uh, a magnum opus for tonight. No, it's one of those paintings. There's a face. Of course it is. Oh, is that the eyes? I yeah. can't the so he's, he's got passion fruit of the eyes. He's got a bit of a side eye. Yeah, nice, very nice. Then, he's yeah, checking everyone he's out. He's got a full amount of teeth. He's been very uh, conscious of his uh, dental health. That was really nice. That's so cool. What happened to the brioche? It's a boss brioche. A what brioche? You're an emus boss. Of uh, course, it's a painting. So, of course, I chose that one. It actually looks like the Commedia dell'arte, yeah. the play doctor. Yeah, yeah, this is my two modes of being. You sort of have a classical one proper, and then a bit of kitsch, a bit of tap. Just another night in La Land. <laughs> My aunt and I have just been given strict instructions that we have to go and look at the downstairs loo. We're a bit bewildered about this. We've seen it before. What is it? Oh, is there a light? There's a light. Okay, so far it's looking the same as... Oh. Avec la bouche. With the mouth we touch the soul. Lamb. They've thought about every corner. Every room. Yeah. She's fantastic. I can't believe I've been invited to a party in my own house and I didn't even know what's happening. It's so exciting. And you've been asked to go to the toilet. Yes. Look at the decor. <laughs> Love it. Right, let's get back to that party. Fantastic. <laughs> He's doing fine. Yes. This is your ballet class. Can you help? I can't remember. It's a sweet participating in today's jest and games and I have made my decision. Uh, I was so very much impressed that I've decided that I will be giving two prizes out today. <gasps> I congratulate the runner-ups Natty and Amory! Yeah. 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 I thought long and hard about this, and I thought for such an evening of cultural delights, I should also uh, produce something worthy of all of your attention. And so, are you okay, Sharon? That was the best time of her life. I would like us all to congratulate the one and only winner, the Restored Jesus! <laughs> Yeah, ready? Ready? And action! <laughs> I present you with the actor, the Gilded Pineapple! <laughs> thank you for joining us for another day at La Lande and the madness of our party. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of our patrons, especially Yadel and Etha, Sultana Al Faisal, Alice Allen, Stephen Arnold. Bill Ballard and Karen Valiot. Thank you so much for supporting the Chateau Diaries. I hope that everyone watching had a wonderful weekend and I can't wait to see you all again on Thursday.